Okay, you are here to watch watch the best settings of the pot shot for your own project. But someone who doesn't have enough time to watch the uh, the full videos, I give you the my bottom line. Use the full size of the image and leave the uh, other options as a default. That's the the best settings. For most of the time, period. So the last time I introduced one of the best program for the processing the Gaussian splitting. If you didn't watch that, that I recommended watching before you started watching the part two video. That videos goes. This part. You can go this part to watch the, the part one videos. By the way, the audio was compressed in quite a strange way. I don't know why, but the, for the part one videos, it was strange. I really apologize for that. Okay, as I mentioned that before, for the best processing settings, I leave the others as a default, except. The image size, which will give you the overall best result for your process, but you can test it out by spending your purchase. I have tested a couple of scenarios: three different size of the image, and three different training steps, and three different max counts, and two different split density, and lastly something others. And what are the something others? I'll talk about it in a minute. Uh, let's have a look at the, the the couple of the results from the, the my test. First, we I want to look take a look at the, uh, the image size. I like to compare that to 1600 and 2500. So what I like to show you from the my result is, if you can see that on the screen, if you can see that this part, this is a little pipe on the ground. So there must be patterns, but we can't really see that the the uh, result from the process uh, with the two 25 uh, 2500. And let's take a look at the 1600 image. I can see that a little bit of the top part, there's a patterns we can notice that there's a lines but slightly compared to the 1600. But let's take a look at the full size. As you can see that the line, well, it looks like patterns, but it's a line, patterns. On the other the dark brown, is that a pile or is it? No, it's a pipe. It's a pipe on the ground. So there's a line we can see that more clearly compared to the, those two results. And what about the uh, training steps? So we're going to compare the 30k steps first, which we already, already watched that. I want to find out the patterns on the, uh, the Pipe on the grounds, this one. That we can't really see that the line, of course. And what about the 90 steps? Also, we can't really see that the 90 steps. I mean, the patterns on the other uh, browns pipe on the ground, this one. The reason why I, I talk uh, I talk about the, uh, the patterns on the, this, this one, other than that one, we can't really see the difference with the result. Let's take a look at the full size of the image. Uh, this is 1600 30Ks, turn off that one. Other than that part, we can't really notice that the uh, difference between the full size image. We can, there's a more, bit of more contrast around the, our main subject, which is a house. And a little bit more detail, of course, we can we use the full size image. But other than that, we can't really notice that the difference between that, those two results, other than these patterns. I don't know why, maybe because it's close to the, the camera position, I guess. So, so, a little bit more contrast is on the screens, a little bit more the, uh, details from the, uh, the full size image processing. Don't know what you guys can see on the screens. Hold on, let me bring it up to one more result. Max count. So max count, 6,000 and 1,000. This is the 1000. Do you see any difference? I can't really see that the, uh, the patterns on the patterns on the pipe, pipe. Right. I need to turn off the, a couple of more results. There you go. Also, I can't really see that difference. And I can't really find the patterns on the pipe. What about the house? Let's take a look at the house, our main subject. Not really, I can't even read that the, uh, the text on the, uh, this part. No. It looks almost the same. But lastly, the density. Density 1 and density 2. This one is processed by the ADC method. Didn't process the MCMC method. So let's take a look at the uh, the pipe, the pattern on the pipes in the ground here. This one is the uh, density 2, means a little bit more processing time. And this one is uh, 16. This one is the density without, oh, sorry, not this one. 
this density of one. Of the camera and the uh, track point, I don't really see that the uh, the patterns. And what about our main subject, which is house? I don't know whether you guys can find any difference between those two results, but to my eyes, it looks pretty much the same. What about the uh, the backgrounds? Background. Let's have a look at the backgrounds. What am I looking at? I'm looking at the solar panel. There's a the patterns on the solar panels. There's a straight line. Which one is more regular patterns? which means a little bit more processed well. It looks pretty much the same. So this is why I recommend my best settings based on the, my test and experience. But again, I only can tell the what I tested. I only tested like 163 times only. So by the way, you can download the, the result file from my website. Those are huge file, by the way. So then you can see the results more clearly more vividly on your computers if someone is interested and you can find the, uh, the link down below as well finally <laughs> finally something else number one well from here that actually the main part of this video huh so what are the something others there's something else in number one the processing of the Gaussian splitting in the post shot is divided into the three steps Number one, image alignment. Number two, camera tracking. And number three, and Gaussian splitting training. And we <clears throat> gonna do that, number one and number two, in another program to get the uh, the benefit that we can't expect from the, the post shot. So when you import the image, there is a secret option. It's under the camera pose part. You can't see now, but I'm gonna show you in a minute. Camera poses, in other words, um, image alignment and etc. in the post shot. So after importing the image and the start the process, the first thing post shot does is selecting the other uh, best image and it start to do that the alignment process. You can either do that on the post shot or you can process that in the, another program, which is a reality capture, we're gonna use it. Then import it the other result files and plus in, uh, image into the post shot, you can do that the rest of the process then. Why? Why do we do that? Um, I found this method while I'm reading the uh, thread on the post shot disco and I found that the process information from this guy on this blogs you can actually see that the manuals from here this is a method kind of useful depends on the situations but not for all the circumstances and that I will talk about very soon Anyway, the, how do we do that? Uh, we're going to use the reality catch, as I mentioned then, for this method. By the way, um, did you guys know that the, the reality capture changed the, the price policies? Actually, it's a free now. Why nobody talk about this? So once you import an image into the other reality captures, there's a secret option panels of the alignment. If you expect a better result quality, you can adjust the uh, options a little bit. But for this instance, we're gonna leave that settings as a default. Oh, by the way, if you haven't extracted image from the, your videos, let me show the uh, one step, how to extract the image from the uh, reality captures so open up the reality captures and drop that the video you're gonna extract the image from and then drop it and there's a one small windows popped up and as you're setting set up the, the location of the image gonna you're gonna save the image next option is if you set up in one every one seconds the uh, reality captures extracted one image press the okay that will the reality capture start the uh the extract the image from your videos then with that image, you can prepare the alignment files. How do we do that? Select the image which extracted from the other reality captures and drop the other reality captures. And you will see that we selected 139 images and start to alignment, go to the alignment tab and start the alignment image buttons. So I'm gonna fast forward for this screen for you guys. You don't have to wait the whole time. Done.
So once the pro alignment process is done, you need to save the two files. As I mentioned, there. first you need to do, you need to save the registration files. Go to the registration and save that the registration files, and make sure the save as a type is internal external camera parameters. That probably show that the camera location. I think so. Put in the, the name whatever your name you want, and save it. I already save it. I cancel it. And next thing you need to do is to save the point cloud. Right below the registration buttons, there is a point cloud menu. So click it and put on the name of whatever you want and to make sure that the, the space point cloud as a polygon file format, which is a PLY file. So once you save the buttons, there is a new menu that pops up that makes sure there is an export ASCII is false. There you go, ask is false. And press OK, but I don't have to do it, I already done it, so I canceled that. So go back to the image folder. We already have registration file and the point cloud file as well. So select everything except these files. Select everything and drop in to the, uh, the post shot. Once you've done it, Go to the, uh, the camera pose and we, you will see that, that there is a two drop menus and which already selected the import menus. And leave the other things as a default and start import process. Start import. And you will see that the, the port shot skip the, the first part and the second part and go to the, uh, the training part straight away. As you can see that the, the training radiance field started already. So I'm going to stop it. So here's the questions. Other than alignment, what we can expect from the doing one more process, one more step, spending our precious time? Number one is the quality improvements. About the qualities, uh, this was probably an issue from the older version, like early, 0.3.x pro shot, but the calculations of the 0.4.x is pretty great now, except the tripod issues. Let's take a look at the um, the quality comparisons between the with alignment files or without alignment files processing results. Right hand side is uh, with the camera alignment, left hand side is uh, without the camera alignment. I don't know whether you guys can see that on the screen, but I don't think there are much difference except the tripod locations. So if you take a look at the, the left hand side processor without the, the alignment files, the tripod location is on in the air right next to the car. Oh, it looks like uh, located next to the roof, right? But if you take a look at the one process with the uh, camera alignment, there is a no tripod. Where is it? It's the center of the, uh, the object. It's right below the house. So let me bring that up the camera. Where is the camera? So there is a camera. So around the camera, the center point looks like the house and the very middle of the house. It's exactly where the tripod is from the, the process with the camera alignment file. So ex other than that, the tripod issues, I think the, uh, the post, post shot process quite a good enough for this example. I'm not sure the other example for, the, for this example and for the result quality issues. Eh, and number two, the saving some time possibly because the alignment processing on the reality capture is pretty fast than the post shot. So if you have a lots of image sets and you can do the something else on the uh, reality capture, especially if your image sets are more than two, say like you got the drone image sets and the, you got the ground image sets, then you need to combine the, those sets together in the reality captures. And reality capture provide a powerful control point function to do that merging component process, which post shot doesn't have it. I'm actually testing out 
that scenario now. I'll talk about it soon. However, really capture doesn't have the most important function that PostShot provides, which is selecting the best image from the videos. Why is that important? It's related to the something else number two, which is motion blur image. Anyway, the, I'm pretty sure all of you guys know that the, what the motion blur is, and I don't have to explain the terms now, but let me show you the two videos. So left hand side is the, uh, the really fast shutter speed, but exactly same settings other than the shutter speed. If you take a look at the right hand side, other than myself, the backgrounds around myself pretty blurry. But if you take a look at the left side, which is a fast shutter speed, the backgrounds, there's a, I can see that a little bit of the motion blur, but still I can see that the, the much more details around the background area. Again, the post shot has an important function that distinguish the best image from the videos, which is not motion blurred, I believe, which I couldn't find the, uh, the, from the reality capture. So if you are not sure whether your videos contains a motion blur or not, you wanna do that process in the post shot. Questions, how do we reduce the motion blur then? The short answer is fly slowly and move slowly. I can give you the calculations of the how fast you need to fly at which altitude depends on the, the what size of the area of your work. If you do that, the survey work. But for this instance, like all bit close up to the capturing your subject, there is no easy method other than this move slowly. I'm sorry, if there is any secret you know you you, you have the own your own recipe, please share with us for this instance. Oh by the way, the, if you guys know uh, want to learn more about the motion blur rules and hear that from my kind of style lectures. Let me know that in the comment section down below. I'll try to make other videos. All right, I think that's it for this video. Wait, I like to write it down the main points of this video before I finish. So number one, use full size image, but they'll leave the uh, others as a default for the best quality. Number two, you can do alignment process in the reality capture for some benefit. Number three, motion blur is the enemy for our kind of work. And number four, reality capture it's free now. I really appreciate that. Apping managers. I'm processing the uh, interesting scenario that combining two different camera, one with the one is a drone shot and the slash with the ground camera shots. See how the reality capture and the post shot handle them. So I tested the one scene last night and I got really surprised by the, what post shot is capable of. So now I'm doing the, the second scenario, same scenario, but second, second test, whether the program will show me the same result. I will post it on my website, the result, because I'm still waiting for the result. I'm pretty sure you don't want to miss it. Yes, I'm pretty sure. All right, guys, see you soon in the final episode video and exciting stuff is coming up to the final video, I promise. So don't forget the... Uh... Tick, tick, tick. Don't forget the tick, tick, tick. And please be safe and make some profit tomorrow. Take care, guys. Thank you.